Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Today we're going on a little bit of adventure. Me and my boy Nathan here are going to Spain on a fishing trip. Unfortunately, Tommy here has got school, so he can't go. And uh, mommy's gonna stay here with him. That makes daddy sad. I'm going to be small, like with Tommy, guys. Mommy, so <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Love you. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey Nathan, you think you can carry that back all by yourself? Show me how it's done, buddy. Thank you. We are going fishing. We're going to go after some trophy carp, big monster wild carp. And if we're lucky, we might be able to get some Wells catfish too. We're going to be fishing the Ebro River, maybe doing some camping uh, northwest of Barcelona. And it is dirt cheap right now. Uh, we were actually planning on going ice fishing in Michigan, but we looked at it and the cost of going to Spain for eight days was less than going ice fishing in Michigan for three days. So we're like, yeah, let's do it. So. But this will be kind of a, an adventure. This is the first time I'm taking just Nathan along on one of these trips. I took Tommy to Japan this summer, so I figure it's yeah, his turn now. Plus, Tommy's in school, so. Guys, we finally made it to the Barcelona airport and uh, it was seven hours across the Atlantic then two hours from uh, London so it's about the same amount of time on a plane as it would to go back home to Alaska so but I'm exhausted I didn't sleep at all are you excited to be in Spain yeah! <laughs> all right guys here's the rental car it's a Citron a Citron C4 so don't get many Citrons in the US here Después de 350 metros, manténgase a la izquierda. That means nothing to me! Hey look, that speed limit said 120! Oh, it's kilometers. Five minutes out of Barcelona and little Nathan is out like a light. <laughs> he did so well on the plane, I'm so proud of him. All right, we're heading southwest of Barcelona along the coast to a city called Tarragona. And uh, we're going to be staying in a hotel in the center of the city. Well, we made it here in one piece. We're gonna go get checked into the hotel and find something for Nathan here to eat. Uh, this is one of those hotels where the light switch is your key card. That way you never forget your keys. Yeah, look at this. Awesome. All right, nice. Well, this'll work, Nate. Oh. Uh, Look at this, look at this, Nate. <laughs> you know what this is? What? That's for cleaning your butt. That's for cleaning your butt? Yeah, after you poo in the potty, you squat over this thing and clean your butt. Now we're gonna go get ourselves some food. Uh, we saw a place down there that sells rectangle pizza and Nathan's very excited. And I want to see pizza rectangle. You got rectangle pizzas like uh, that. Oh yeah. Well, that one's that one looks like it's just cheese. Uh, should, we, should we get that one? Yeah, just let's yeah. just. Mm, yummy. Yeah. Yummy. You, know, you like that? Yeah. Kind of warm. Yeah, it's warm. It, look, it's all frothy. It's got all these bubbles in it. Now we gotta go get some souvenirs. Uh, this is one of our few free evenings on this trip. So we gotta go get something for mom and Tommy. And I also wanna buy a Spanish kids book. Hey, you wanna go play on that playground? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, foreign playgrounds are always much cooler because they're less worried about the kids being hurt. <laughs> Look at this. This is this would never fly in the US. This is awesome. <laughs> I 
Hey, look at this. There might be something. Maybe we got this. Yeah. Look at that. It's a Cinderella pop up book. And uh, Big Bad Wolf and the Three Pigs. We have a tradition that every time we visit another country, we want like to buy kids' books in that country's language. And we're here in the Catalan region of Spain, where they have their own unique dialect called Catalan. And here's two kids' books in Catalan. <laughs> El planeta del terror. Oh. All right, so we got souvenirs for a book for Tommy and a book for Nathan and a book for Jacob. And we got this for a uh, wink for Tommy and Nathan. One of these two. <laughs> Let's pick somewhere to eat dinner. Look, this place has snails. I don't like eating snails. Oh, I've got to just hold out and stay awake for a few more hours. If I go to sleep now, I'll be on a weird sleep schedule. Oh, I'm tired. Well, guys, it's 8 o'clock and we're heading out to dinner. And uh, we're doing as the Spanish do. Because the Spanish are night owls. A lot of stores and restaurants stay open way later than they do in the U.S. And uh, lots of people take a siesta in the middle of the day. So it's kind of a late to bed, late to rise sort of culture. I might be down with that today. Hey Nathan, you having fun? <laughs> Good. All right, here we are, Ibericas. It's a hummum store. Let's go check it out. You got little ham sandwiches there. You got little bits of the ham and the tomato and bread. That's, that's ham. That's from a pig's leg. See? They age it and it gets tasty. It gets really, really tasty. Look at that. Look at that. They got all the hams up there on the wall. It's a ham sandwich there. Look at that. It's just beautiful ham in there. You want, you want to take a bite? Ah. These little sandwiches are so good. It's, you know, fresh baguette. They rub a tomato on, on the inside of the bread. And uh, then they put that, that ham in there. Just, it's good. There we go. That's a hundred grams of ham right there. It's absolutely delicious. Amazing. It's all free range black pig that's fed on acorns. It's got a really strong flavor to it. It's aged 20 months. That was really good and really indulgent. Unfortunately, Nathan uh, did, didn't like it much, but I loved it. So I might have to find him something else to eat. So we swung by this grocery store and we're gonna get him an apple and see if he'll eat that. <laughs> you want this apple? Okay, we'll get you an apple. Yeah, I know it's a Saturday night, but I just can't get over how many families are out this late at night. You know, I've been in places where they have hop and nightlife, but it's all 20 and 30 somethings. You know, here's one year olds and two year olds and babies in strollers, and it's, uh, it's past Nathan's bedtime. Oh, are you glad to be back at the hotel? Yeah. Oh, oh it feels good to get those boots off. Well, it's the end of two very long days, but we have absolutely had a ball. And me and Nathan are just chilling here, unwinding and watching Spanish cartoons. Well, good morning, guys. We went to bed at 9.30 last night, and I didn't set an alarm. I figured just wake up whenever, and uh, it's quarter to 11. So we slept over 13 hours last night. <laughs> Jeez. But uh, we got to go find something to eat. And luckily check out is it until noon. So we got a little bit of time. One of the problems with traveling is I have so many electronic devices that need charging. All my cameras and batteries and my LED auxiliary lights, my, my tablets for uh, Nathan's cell phones. So I go and I buy one of these little surge blocks. It's just USB ports. And then I only need one converter. And I use this converter to plug my surge protector into the wall. And then I can charge like 10 electronic devices off this thing. And in case you're wondering, that's what a Spanish outlet looks like. Well, breakfast didn't end so well. Poor little Nathan really is feeling sick because he blew chunks all over himself. And the table and uh, luckily dad's pretty ninja fast with a bowl but uh yeah you're not feeling too well are you so we're just going to go ahead and drive to our next location and see if a little car ride doesn't make him feel better maybe he'll get a little nap love you buddy 
You okay there, Nathan? Ah. You need to throw up? Poor little guy. I told him not to lick the handrail at immigration. No, oh, well. But remember, any problem you can solve with wet wipes is not a problem. Don't believe me? Just ask a parent with teenagers. You doing better, buddy? Yeah. Let's go. One thing that's a little freaky about driving in Spain is they use a white line to divide the two lanes. So the shoulder lane is white and the middle lane is white as well. And so it feels like I'm driving in oncoming traffic because, you know, it's all white lines and there's cars coming at me. <laughs> you know? The landscape here really reminds me of Utah and Arizona. There's the Ebro River right there. This is Ribaroya de Ibres, the red banks of the Ebro River. This is where we're going to be staying. All right, I think we're in the right place. Look at that. All right, that's a little tight. Okay, I got this. Well, here we are in Riba de Roya, and we're going to go meet Nick, and we're going to be staying with him, and he's going to be our fishing guide here for the week. And so, we're going to go check him out. Come on out, bud. All right, I think this is it. House number 20. Come on in, Nate. Come and say, say hola to everybody. Hola. Hola. <laughs> he's feeling a little under the weather That's here. All right. This is Harry. Hi, Harry. Harry just turned five. Oh, that's a grand age. Look at this, Nathan. It's like a castle. This is your room. We've got a heater in here hey, for you. This oh, is my cuddle book right here. This is my cuddle book. Yeah, Harry oh. kindly donated some things. Well, Nathan has been having a great time with his new friend, Harry, here. No, they... not Harry. 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 Yeah. Harry. Harry. No, Harry. No, Harry. No, Harry. 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 No, Harvey. Harvey? No, Harvey. I'm hearing Harvey now. <laughs> no, Harvey. Okay, Harvey. I don't know what's going on here. I'm, no. I'm, Harry and Nathan ran off and went playing somewhere, so they're having a ball. But look at this. Isn't this cool? This is awesome. Uh, just uh, this charming, charming little village. Look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous river? There are monsters in there. Big old cat, big old carp. This is gonna be awesome. We found a 100 treasure. Oh, 100 treasure, we awesome. Apparently, Harry is as much of a fan of the D. Almighty river hunting videos as Nate is, and so they've been walking the streets of Spain here, uh, street treasure hunting. So, and they've been very successful by their standards. Over, oh, you found Look all of that? that? Look at that. Oh, is that a locust? Is yeah, it no, it's dead. Hey, Nathan. Nathan, you, you remember when I told you we were reading about John the Baptist and how he yeah. eats locusts and honey? Yeah. This locusts. is locusts. This is what he eats. He eats locusts. He does Come out. I don't want to eat that. Uh, we're going to go to bed, try to go to bed uh, kind of early here. And uh, tomorrow we're going to get up and go fishing. You excited, Nathan? Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, Nathan, did you have a good night's rest? Yeah. You ready to catch big fish? Mm-hmm. It's going to be exciting? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, we got the boys dressed and fed, and we're going to go out to a tackle shop and get our fishing licenses. Then we're going to start fishing, so I'm excited. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. Oh, this catfish gear. Look at that. That's a buoy float. Yeah, those are PVA nuggets. The PVA mesh. This is big jumbo mesh. Oh, yeah, look at this. We got my fishing license and the boys didn't destroy the shop, so we got mission accomplished here. All right, guys, we've got to here, stop at a grocery store, pick up some supplies, and I need a toothbrush. It's been four days. I lost it. I have no idea where it went. Look at that cart. You want an orange? Uh, this is how you buy fruit in Spain. You go number 26, that's oranges. Lay it on there. And then look at that, it prints off the sticker and I guess we put it on the bag. All right, next stop, going fishing. Look at this overlook guys, this is the Ebro River here. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look, there's a castle up on the hill. That water is so clear. I swear if I had a pair of binoculars, I could pick out every fish in there. Oh. 
Oh, this is good. I found a bottle cap. <gasps> Nathan, I you still know. have the food in your cheek from breakfast. Are you going to swallow that ever? Yeah. I swear you didn't eat breakfast. You just stored it in your cheeks. <laughs> All right, big bag of homemade juicy fruit boilies. Something. Oh, that's a juicy fruit flavoring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why the, the flavoring's in the boilies. Yeah. I just put a little bit on the outside of it as well. Really scent attraction, especially in the winter time. Yeah. We got some serious gear here. Look at this. By the way, if you guys are interested in coming here to Spain and doing this yourself, I'm going to put Nick's uh, guide information in the description for this video. Oh, you got a little stringer there? Yeah, and it sits off it, sits off it like that. Now, that string right there, in case you don't know, it's PVA, which is water soluble like plastic made out of like cornstarch. When it hits fresh water, it dissolves. So all that string will just liquefy into a biodegradable cornstarch. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, see if you can find him. <laughs> you having a good time? Yeah. You warm? Yeah. Okay, I'll shut the door. Well, guys, we put in a pretty solid day here, but uh, the boys are wet and cold, and it's dinner time, so we're gonna we're gonna call it and get them uh, get them some dinner. We don't want to push too hard on our first day; we burn them out. Nathan, do you like this? Do you like eating dinner in front of the fire? Well, good morning, everybody. It's day four of our Spain trip, and we're up a little bit earlier to get out the door a little bit earlier. All right, so we're right here on top of a big old dam on the Ebro River, and we're just kind of scouting. We got a great point of view here. We can kind of see if anything's rolling, but uh, I think we're gonna go down and, and try a spot down there in the sun. Well, I'm liking this spot a whole lot. We're seeing a lot of fish jumping out of the water out there. Come on, Nathan, you having fun? Yeah, You're really tired. Oh, come here. Well, guys, it's the end of another great day. We're having a ball on our adventure. I've got Nathan to bed, and I'm getting to bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out part two of this epic fishing adventure in Catalonia, Spain. And don't forget to click subscribe to the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel for more great videos and adventures. Don't forget, we put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching.